What's up ladies and gents, welcome back to another episode of my Byzantium playthrough and uh, I'm really sorry to say guys in the last episode that the British ended up being over 100% war score cost which is so upsetting and I've been really thinking about it guys uh, it, it's pretty grim, it's pretty grave here this province is just a British province because uh, it's in the Californian re region and uh, it's going to remain like that. Whereas these two provinces, <clears throat> I believe now that they finished their um, colony, if we lost occupation on them, they would actually basically flip to the col colony of the local region. And uh, I've been thinking that the likelihood of him sieging this back, and therefore we don't need to take that, is fairly high given some time. We're suffering from call for peace, which is really painful. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to wait it out for a moment to see if he kind of goes up there as he's sitting on these two occupations. And he doesn't even have the troops here to siege down this fort. Hopefully he'll go for that. Uh, there's no, no friends nearby him. So that's what I'm doing at the moment in regards to this, to this war. But, with that being said, uh, we might have to piece him out, guys, for just a small chunk. And the, the most upsetting thing, quite frankly, is that he might lose the, the colonies if we weaken him further by the time we have our truce comes up. Uh, either way, guys, uh, it's going to cost a tremendous amount of overextension. So that's what we're doing this episode, lol. I'd really like to declare wars. Like, it looks like uh, Brabant is a really easy nation to go into right now as the Emperor won't back him up um, as they are rivaled. And, yeah, looking forward to doing other things. But um, it'd be kind of foolish to start another war right now as we will be even more ridiculously overextended. Uh, so it is what it is. Let's see if the British Mexicans go for this province. I, I really hope so. With that being said, guys, we have a, um, a coalition which is blocking us out from attacking a few nations. And uh, that's a shame. But we do have other options like Brabant. Ready to go. Somebody asked me why do I have a mission in the Congo, guys? Uh, we're getting like 7.3 ducats there. Um, no real answer to that question, honestly, guys. I'm not being like meticulous and 100% uh, focusing on my trade income right now, guys. Partially because we're gaining more merchants here uh, quite quickly as we go into the future. But also partially because I'm just getting so much damn money. Like, even if I was to get, like, 30 more ducats uh, at this point, it's kind of whatever. But I know that will sort of trigger some people, like, uh, understandably. They would prefer if I was uh, way more focused. But at this late stage of the game, these guys are missing, dude. I'm really hoping one's going here and one's going here. I'm really, really hoping, because uh, I want to get out of this war and, and spend the rest of this episode filling with my voice. That's that's uh, a bad joke, because we're going to be sitting here coring provinces up for the entire episode and doing uh, quite literally nothing else. We did get a colonist in our previous episode, which is pretty good. Now, if I remember where we put him down, there, haha. -ha. We're going to keep recalling them and throwing them back down. That's something that we can really do multiple times. It gets uh, exponentially more expensive, unfortunately. But I know that we can certainly afford to do it quite a few times. God dang it, British Mexico. The other thing is, guys, that he could be colonizing somewhere else whilst we're doing this. It looks like he doesn't really have reach in North America anymore. 
but maybe he's throwing I mean maybe he could reach somewhere else well maybe not it looks like there's actually not a single province that he could reach actually now I think about it cool hopefully uh-huh god dang it he could reach Greenland and that would make him no longer be fully inexorable. But surely, I have some confidence, guys, that the British... Will... No, they're gonna... No, 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 we don't own this fort. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The British Mexicans will go up here, surely. Surely, if we just give them some time, they'll go up there and then we'll be good. Right? I believe. Let's hang in. They'll go up there and then it should flip over. To... Right? It, it isn't, it's not... Being at war isn't an issue. This province will flip over to the British, British Mexico, I believe. And then I'll be able to peace out with exactly this peace offer. That's what I'm hoping for. But we will see. If I have to get out, then we still have time. And worst case scenario, I have to conquer these nations in the New World the old-fashioned way. Uh, at the end of the day, we do have a lot of absolutism, and although it will be tedious and far from ideal, we could probably pull it off, I suggest, even if we did lose the colonies that I'm bloody well about to inherit. Why are so mad Portuguese, Australia? Yep, so this is all fog of war right now, guys, but we're really hoping... For to see the British Mexicans going up here. And people wonder why I, I say like, yes, yes, Britain, go there. Edgy things, I suppose. Uh, I know sometimes I say naughty things. I'm joking around, guys, but sitting here for uh, hours sometimes. Oh, no, stay on that fort. Looking for things to say. Um, you know, every now and then I, I, I'm myself a little bit. Which, of course, is absolutely forbidden. Everybody knows that. When you're trying to be a, a internet entrepreneur. How dare you say anything that's not just... You know... Generic, I suppose. Come on, baby. Come on. Please. Yes. And then you flip. Right? Right? No? What? Yes. Okay, it took some time. Okay. Please, for Linux. Yes. Oh my goodness, dude. That 100% dough. Jeez. That was rough, but we got there. Okay, and speaking of rough, uh, we're now massively overextended, but let's give this a moment, and there we go. Those have disappeared. We're no longer at war, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to give this province to French Canada, even though it's in the Californian region. We do not care. He actually has that in the Hudson Bay. I think it's most suitable for him. Phew! And, uh... Wow! The Roman dominance over North America looking good. And naturally, if we can sort out their liberty desire, surely, at this stage, Wars could be fought automatically out in the New World. Because, of course, we own the, the Spanish provinces as well. Awesome. Okay, I want to begin integrating Friesland before we go back to war. And, uh, yeah, okay, that feels good. That feels good. So, the most feels bad man thing for me right now is that, um, well, that, that we're overextended... And we're going to have a ton of instability, but also I've got nothing to do. Lol. So let's have a look here. 13 colonies is mad understandable. 
Newfoundland and British British Louisiana. British Louisiana is the least upset with us. Let's pull back from Ming. We need these emissaries. And the coalition is dissipating. Feels like deja vu. Uh, I suggest that it's just going to grow once again, once we start another war. But I'm looking forward to smashing Mali. Let's do Mali. Africa is mine. You best believe it. Can tick up. I might as well do that for negative five. Military. Keep that, those military tech on point. Yeah, and it's going to be a long, painful road, guys, here. Uh, hopefully we're not that unstable. What's our unrest at right now? Plus two. I wonder, hmm. Oh, Turkish. Let's just do that, dude. This is going to cost a lot of money. But uh, we have money. Lol. I'm just going to go ahead and do that, guys, to uh, help us out with our unrest. In the meantime here, while we're overextended, the fewer rebel factions that spawn, the fewer we have to um, deal with with the overextension, giving a lo much larger uh, revolts. I really uh, dislike it when you have large stacks like that. Okay, we've got four, four merchants, like, damn. Alrighty, let's go ahead and uh, throw these down in areas uh, somewhat inefficiently, I suppose, because at this point, just don't really care as much as I could. Is he collecting? No. No, he's transferring. No. We're good. Alright, alright. Car the Caribbean had a lot of wealth there, so I'm wondering where else. Mexico. It's a lot of wealth there. The English Channel. How's my influence doing here? 36. Dude, smashing Brabant, integrating Friesland. That's going to be big for the trade economy. Yeah, I'm tempted. There's so much wealth in Lebec. The North Sea... I mean, that's sending a lot there. Mm. Screw it, dude. We don't have to be that efficient with our merchants. Let's do one here. Look how much wealth there is. Damn. Let's do one there. We don't get all of it, but either way, that's going to help out our, our economy a lot. And, uh... Keep jamming down these colonies, boys. So, how much is our colony maintenance right now? Hardly anything. Six ducats? For us, that's nothing. Okay. Question is... Yeah, I guess let's focus... I'm going to have the mindset to focus on, like, one continent at a time. Is that smart? I don't know if that's smart. Is there anywhere that I need to colonize desperately? I don't think so. Maybe as some kind of a platform. See, this pisses me off, dude. I don't know why it is that Russia's allying that guy. Like, cool story, bro. As if that's a real Russian thing to do. Like, both in and outside of this game. Oh, damn. It appears as though uh, Russia has 100% of Japan taking a big chunk. Which, of course, he will convert. So, yep, I talk about it an awful lot, and it, it does feel uh, pretty bad, man, that the Russians are extremely derpy in guaranteeing people like Poland and Lithuania. But at the same time, he is serving his purpose. For those of you who recall that long ago, I fought wars out here, multiple wars just to take these three and these three provinces each time giving, spending our precious war score against a nation who, in of himself, was much more powerful than us, i.e. Poland, giving land to the Russians. And we always had this, the hope 
that he would do exactly what he's doing. But the bastard, the bastard is guaranteeing Poland and Lithuania for like the last 150 years and I can't quite comprehend why. I mean, it's literally ideal land for him to uh, integrate. So, what are we going to do? We give this guy a gift? Oh, we haven't influenced him yet. There we go. He's above 190. And uh, let us begin integrating Friesland. Before we go back to war. And although we are overextended, I should... Roman peasants? Uh, I just want to know where they're spawning. Okay. Oh, the heck? I need to go sort that out. Do I have units around here somewhere? Okay, they're only spawning in, in Midway and here. Question is, can I reach Midway? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not really. Uh, don't know what to do about that one. Okay, let's let's do some more transports out here. Well, it would suck if those peasants were successful, but it's going to take a long time on such a puny province like that. Uh, I was going to say that we should begin declaring another war. I'm just going to wait though until this has progressed further. It shouldn't take us very long, I reckon, to be able to. Uh, Rick Brabant, although the fort level is really high actually. I forget that. Maybe I should just go ahead and declare this now. So that we can peace out in an efficient manner. We uh, often struggle to do that. I mean, I'm integrating Friesland. Okay, screw it. Here we go. Let's do it. Anybody got any debt, guys? Nobody's got any debt. It's a shame. Yeah, it takes a while for our colonists to get out there as well. So I can't do that one. All the more incentive to do the one above it. So if you notice that second colony, right? We did one colony, which I think is like one ducat per month. And then the second colony over our co colonial threshold, six ducats. This one's 16. So it becomes massively exponentially more expensive for those of you who don't realize. So this one's probably going to put it up to like around 50. I don't know, to be honest, but... Or... Um, yeah, I don't know, but, but we'll find out. Hey, sweet, a lot of his friends, not only the Emperor who's rivaling him, but Cleves is war exhausted and will not help him out here. Perfect. So let's go to war. I can reach his capital without taking one of his high-level forts. Life's pretty good, guys. And I want to prep this so that we can take a, a chunk of land uh, as soon as we finish coring. Okay, I'm also trying to, just for the flavor, I'm trying to continue spreading our culture. What is Romanian? We don't need none of these Romanians who are cool in real life. Because we got Romans. Pretty much the same thing. Nice. That's the nice thing about chucking down colonies, guys. When you take this one, the policy, the colonial policy, which I never seem to be able to find. Where the heck is it? I don't know. Who cares at this stage? Um, I'm not, I don't have a colonial mindset. I'm just like, where is that? Um, you take the no uprising chance, negative uprising chance, 100%. And uh, so any colonial event that pops up like increases furiosity or anything like that you don't care right so colonial events in a in a way can just be good things like you have a oh i should check with a rebel spawn i hate it when i do that 
God dang it, where do they spawn? Probably on the British Isles, I guess. Sony Zalance as well, I gotta check that. Yeah, so my point is, ah, uh, yes, it was on the British Isles. My point is that uh, you have a s small chance to gain population, but if you throw down like five colonies, five different colonies, for example, then you've got five times the likelihood. Which always feels good when you've got a bunch of colonies. Okay, these Sunny Zalots, I just want to know where they're spawning so that uh, hopefully they don't like convert a province when they do spawn if I have some units ready to go, which looks like I do it perfectly. Feels good. Yeah, and let's throw a bloody... Okay, that's Ireland, I can see that. Guy back down. So all of these look the same to me. British Louisiana. We're doing him. And he actually seems happy for now. Yep. Okay. Newfoundland. So then Portuguese Australia and 13 colonies. That's where we could do with some relations right now. Nice. We've got guys ready to go to defend the British Isles. Where'd my navy end up? The one that was around here. Let's quickly check where our navies are. We don't have two in the new world, do we? Yes, we do. Let's go bring one back over to the British Isles. We need some navy there. This dude can do it, actually. Scratch that. However, he needs some heavy ship action. I spent so much money on those, on these guys. Like a ridiculous amount of money on grand shipyards. Damn. Do you guys remember? I spent like 70k or something. But uh, it serves its purpose, dude. That's what our money's for. Is to... Who wants to be over the naval force limit at this stage? No, thank you. How's our wall It's zero. Very nice. That's just about ready to not spawn. And I think in a moment I'm going to be able to mass add everything to the Zanzibar Trade League trading company, which will uh, prevent it. Oh my goodness, I wish I found where those rebels sp spawned. It was Scottish. Okay, phew. I really hate the idea of these rebels preventing us from coring stuff up, so let's deal with them ASAP. And then I guess throw a guy down in Portuguese, uh, Australia, but it just occurred to me that I don't think we're influencing these guys. Let's go ahead and uh, spam influence on many of these different nations. We are influencing... Okay, those are more Irish. Feels good. We are influencing Spain, if I remember correctly. Let's quickly check that. Because I desperately want to integrate them. Ah, oh, maybe we're not. Cool. Let's do that again. I really wish we had, like, infinite diplomats. Anytime it gets to the, the late stage of the game, I'm just like, where the diplomats at? They take, I mean, bloody damn near years. Which I guess kind of makes sense if you think about it, but I don't want to think about it. 
Who wants to think about it? Oh man, I'm so glad. I was kind of stressing in between the episodes, guys, at the end of our last episode about the situation. I'm really glad that it uh, sorted itself out. Um, I'm wondering, should we commit to exploration? No, right? Let's not commit to exploration. I feel like there's not that much remaining of the world. We got some here in Southeast Asia, but there's just not that much left to actually colonize, guys. Looks like all of South America has been colonized, and if not all, I think all, well there's one province there, but pretty much all of North America has been colonized. So we got some inland, well actually quite a lot, this is the largest area here around Africa. And uh, very little else. It's pretty much Southeast Asia in that whole area, it looks like. Now, how's our money doing? Okay, so we're up to 36. Let's go ahead and chuck another dude down. And of course, the one that we started first is, you know, progressing. Be interesting to see if we can just... You know what? I'm worried about this kind of choke point. Oh, I thought we could colonize through there. Oh, man. I feel like... Let's kill this guy. Let's kill this guy like yesterday. Give us some access, please. And complete our mission for once. Which I've had forever to take that province. And apparently, we get core on it. So, that would be cool. Oh, I haven't put my colonists down. Okay. I was gonna, what I thought here guys, just looking at far away, is if we put it there, that will give us access here. But uh, it's not the case, so I won't worry about that. Imperialism against Scandinavia, did... What happened though? I don't get it. Did Scandinavia get fully annexed and then it just spawned? That might have been the case. I think they might have got fully annexed and we didn't even realize, or I didn't realize. I should speak for myself. And then they just spawned, which gave us imperialism against them, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so how's our uh, Madagascar doing? We got missionaries here, yes we do. How's our, uh, those, wow, every damn province in Ireland spawning. I was thinking about this trading company. It's going to be pretty weak, I think, until we uh, annex someone like him. Um, Newfoundland, get, no, 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 Spain, Spain, get influenced, my friend. We're so far. We can get, like, well, we're actually getting there. We're actually getting there. Hopefully I don't get a negative modifier with him again. Because we actually are getting there. To where if I gave him money, 25 relations, and we max our relations out. We're getting fairly close. I might give him uh, some subsidies as well here shortly. Cool. Let's get the artillery bonus forces uh, forts. That's going to... Uh, speed things along a little bit if I understand it correctly. We'll help uh, uh, the bonus that artillery does to sieging down forts. As I hate, I really, really despise when you're just trying to piece somebody out and you're just waiting for the fort to finish. Okay, uh, Newfoundland become influenced 13 colonies uh oh our saint thing has been forgotten dude I think our manpower is so high awesome it's actually capped out is it just about cool uh, I think I will actually only take that I, I will take it again understandably 
the bonus of St. Michael, whatever it's called. Uh, but what I'm going to do is wait until I feel like we need that discipline. There's no point taking the discipline against rebels as they get the same bonus that you do. Well, I feel like we need the discipline right now. Lol. Let's do it. It would help. Uh, but now I wish to uh, consecrate Metropolitan. Why does that bloody event spawn so quickly, damn it? Yeah, this province is going to be so far behind Core and Ump guys, uh, as well as that one, I suppose. But it is what it is. Just fighting the rebels as fast as they come at me. Okay, so we've already got this guy's capital. I want to take his capital to complete our mission, get that core. And I want I want to be able to colonize, so let's do some snaky snake action. Even that would do it, wouldn't it? Yep. Oh, we're actually losing that battle. Feels bad, man. And uh, this is a big ass stack, dude, on farmland, so we don't exactly get a bonus there. check up on our core progress hey you we're almost done cool it's all about the English channel there should be priority so we're gonna be doing something like that that's 70 over extension which means take 30 here nice I think it'll probably be faster to getting out of this war to uh, go ahead and aim for his troops. I kind of need to send some more troops over to uh, deal with the Scottish. Of course, the Scottish will be the they are the ones who are too difficult for us to deal with. Oh wow, our missionary's not doing anything right now because we're coring up. I guess I should be happy, right? In the sense that I'm catching up, but at the same time, it's stressing me out. There, subjects. Every time you open and close the game, that that closes and. Uh, yeah, that's an issue. Okay, let's go ahead and add everything. I doubt we'll get a merchant there from this one, but it's close. One more against somebody in Zanzibar and we, we would get a merchant, I suggest. Okay, are we no longer? There we go, great. Okay, let's go pick our boys up. And uh, let's spend some prestige. You're kidding me. Are you for real, guy? Why are you so successful? Whoa, that was expensive. Suez Canal thingy event. Big setback there. It occurred to me, guys, that uh, that's not including these provinces, which are delayed coring. So I'm going to be taking a little bit less land. But as long as we're taking stuff... We feel good, right? 
because I don't want to be over 100% overextended all day, every day, if we can avoid it. This guy's in the bloody hills. We need to reinforce. Reinforcing too slow there. He's all staggered because of the bloody rebels that were spawning, but it's all good. We're just about to be under 100 again. There we go. Keep one stack on the British Isles. Okay, where's our colonist at? There he is. So how's our colonial maintenance? 70. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. Keep dropping those colonists. We gotta we must colonize uh, the world. Let's make another set of uh, transports out here. I'm worried about... Oh, we have access there now. Cool. Let's go deal with those rebels. They're stressing me out. We have discovered this sea tile. And we can go kill these peasants out here. Okay, and... Uh, integrating... Friesland... Who also has Friesland Brazil, <laughs> laughably. I think it's under 10, so no merchant there, I don't think. Let's have a look at the Orthodox map mode, dude. Oh, looking pretty good. Pretty good. The bloody Russians appear to not really gain any significant war exhaustion or anything like that, which is a shame. Any long lasting. I'm wondering about if we can sort out our liberty desires. Liberty desire action all over the place. Then. We've already enforced on Australia. Um, declaring some automatic wars is what I'm trying to say. When we go back to war, right, and we know it's going to take a while, just declare some cash as wars in the new world. Like, surely Louisiana, if he doesn't have any allies, surely he's going to get ripped, right, by, like, everything. Ah, uh, he is allied to Mexico. Maybe Colombia, uh, they are allied. We got a few allies. Either way, it looks like Mexico and Louisiana are the the easiest combo out there. I'm wondering if we can just fight that war automatically without actually having to deal with it. That would be pretty cool. Oh, these bloody emissaries taking literally months. That's a horrible feeling. I was thinking, hey, we can peace out in, in a timely fashion, like, aligning with us. Well, not really. Not anytime soon. So we got, uh, what is that? 18, 17.2. 17.2. Wow. Roman Jerusalem. Man, anybody feel like deja vu? It's about to be some son of God spawn in action. And then we're going to be like, no, why do you do this? 
17.2. I want to be able to colonize. Aha, wait, how much confidence do I have? Let's have a look at this. Against territorial core on this province. It works, right? I've never done this before. So that's 17.6. It's still too much. Oh, feels bad, man. Are you serious? I want about to walk down here. How stable are we in this region, though? Apparently not too stable. Uh, well... I'm going to make a little bit of a colony here, guys. Because I'm sick of this war. And uh, it's more efficient to do this. So please give us the core, right? Yes. Wow. That's pretty interesting, dude. Core up a 25 development province. Like, for free is uh, pretty nice. Wait. He defected. He defected and... So He's orthodox. It's okay. Religious ideas? Uh-oh. You better about to convert Dagestan, dude. Hmm. You know, we could, uh, we could vassalize that guy easily. I might just do that. Got the Diplo slots open. I might just vassalize that guy. Russia's such a bloody noob anyway. I think that's a good idea. If only we had some bloody emissaries, I'd be doing that already right now. So Russia fell to rebels. That's pretty impressive. I guess he just uh, couldn't get any troops out here as he's fighting that long war. Um, kind of makes me feel like... Uh-oh, where did I put my last guy? Oh, he's there already. Kind of makes me feel like a war against him would be pretty damn easy if he was fighting out in Asia. I'll definitely take that into consideration. Let's rush down here, because I feel like uh, some rebels are going to spawn down there. And then make yet another template. Spending that cash. Let's take up for negative 10, or we get settlers from that as well. Worth. Probably should have done that sooner, actually. I didn't realize. Those settlers, uh, they're nice and helpful. Nice and helpful. Full. I don't know, some of those comments made me laugh, man. What was, was that last episode, guys? Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm, I'm not that far ahead. People are talking about I pre-record. I do pre-record, but uh, it depends. Sometimes it's only, like, sometimes it's literally, uh, like, I'm up to date, basically. Like, I, I haven't done any recording when I'm, I'm looking at the comments and stuff of the previous episode. Can we, do, do we have access? We don't have access. Oh, dang, God dang it. I didn't consider that. How the heck am I? Oh! Oh! Check it out! We can go this way. Can I automatically transport? That would be even better. Yeah, not that you guys care, guys, but, but let me reiterate something real quick. Somebody commented, like, teasing me, like, what do I say instead of colorful, right? And I, I just thought that that was the best example, because I, I say colorful as well. But whenever you refer to something being colorful, it means that it's full of color. And what happens is that when you say, like, uh, when people start using the words, uh, like, uh, fearful, for example, instead of afraid, then people start having mannerisms where they start saying, uh, oh, man, I was, you know, rather than saying, like, oh, you scared me or uh, for a second I was afraid, they say for a second I was fearful. But the word fearful means full of fear right and you start getting people like uh see people often wouldn't say oh that's a little bit colorful because it's either colorful or it's not right but you do hear people i mean you guys probably don't notice it obviously i do and that's my bad i guess i'm just a dummy but you people talking about oh that's a little bit fearful <sighs> oh it's qu quite Quite flavorful, quite flavorful, ain't it? Quite flavorful. 
No, it's either full of flavor or it's not. I'm going to stop talking about it because a lot of people disagree with me. I guess it, that's my bad. But I uh, love you guys nonetheless, even though you, you are objectively wrong. <laughs> that triggers people when I say that as well. Uh, but it's still funny because that's the whole point. So uh, I'm going to end the episode there, guys. Look at that Roman Empire. Hope you guys are enjoying. Thanks for watching. Even though we mostly just waited for our course to finish up. That felt like a bit of a productive episode, eh? Before I forget, let's give subsidies to the Spanish to help us get that 190 relations, which I feel like we can actually reach fairly soon. Oh, god dang it. Nope. I'm not... Nope. We're going to do something else before I forget. And that is ally this fool who I intend to vassalize. Dude, I, I can't I can't have these many diplomats. We can send another one back when uh, Friesland's been integrated. But uh, like I need to declare a war and I need to make allies. I mean, this is seriously setting us back months. It's it's terrible. Uh, but we'll do that. Complete our bloody mission. Get some reputation here. Help us integrate Friesland faster. And uh, we get a free core on that bloody province. So it feels good, man. We can go in against Kulwas. We don't have a true stay. And that's probably going to happen next episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you then.